Welcome to Ballymore, an excellent response from the Queensland public and the crowd is close to the 25,000 capacity. For the 30 players about to emerge from beneath the McLean stand, the rubbing is done, the strapping's in place and only the heat of battle remains. Hello from sunny Brisbane where it's crisis time for the British Lions. One down in the three test series, they must win today to stay alive. But after Australia's resounding 30 to 12 victory last week, they will start a warm favourite. With me to analyse the action this afternoon, two former Wallaby stars, Chris Handy and Gary Pearce. And Chris, the catch cry around town seems very much to be, beware the wounded lion. Much. Yes, Gordon, beware the wounded lion. Today, I think they'll employ the terror tactics in their forwards and tight five, back row, plunging into what we refer to as the corridor of darkness, that area outside Nick Farr-Jones and inside uh, Lloyd Walker. That's the only area that I see that Australia are in any way vulnerable. Gary. That corridor can only be exploited if the Lions tight five can dominate up front. That'll allow the options of the surges by Teague and Richards around the sides and the counter-attacking abilities of Rob Andrews and the burst of Gus Scott through the middle. Australia has to stick to the knitting to win today. So it's a heady atmosphere here at Ballymore Park, a brilliant sunny day. We're delighted to tell you the pitch is firm and the crowd is really jammed into the ground here. Two changes, one forced and one unforced to the Australian lineup from Sydney. Winger Ian Williams, the Oxford scholar, displaces Arthur Nagila, while in the pack Mark Harthill's broad shoulders are required at loose head after the crippling cruciate ligament injury to Cameron Lillycrap. Halves Michael Liner and Nick Farr Jones were the consummate orchestrators last week, complementing a spanking forward performance which saw Jeff Miller produce his finest game in Australian colours. The Lions have made sweeping changes to the beaten first test team with three new backs and two new forwards. Centres Scott Hastings and Jeremy Guscott displace Brendan Mullen and Mike Hall and England 5'8 Rob Andrew comes in for Craig Chalmers. In the pack, the bustling Gloucester builder Mike Teague recovers from injury to oust Derek White and the Blackpool Tower Wade Dooley has etched out Robert Norster. Eight Englishmen, four Scots and three Welshmen. So the Lions midweek in Canberra downed ACT by 41 to 25 to make it seven wins from eight on tour. Just that hiccup last week at the Sydney Football Stadium when they were beaten by Australia 30 points to 12. Standing then for Australian captain Dick Farr Jones and his deputy, the Queensland captain Bill Campbell. Steve Tyneman more inspiring game in the Australian back row last week and Steve Cutler who was under a slight injury cloud after hurting his back at the end of training yesterday but he is 100% fit and that is good news and Ian Williams recalled to the test arena seven caps the most prolific try scorer in an Australian jumper in our history in 19 games 29 tries Finlay Calder it's make or break for the Lions this afternoon Scott Hastings coming into the centres. Big Wade Dooley there with his England teammate Paul Ackford. And last man out, Dean Richards. And there's Mike Teague, the big Gloucester builder there with his socks down. And he certainly has been a devastating force for the Lions this afternoon or during their tour. He was injured when tackled heavily by Scott Goulet in the New South Wales match at North Sydney Oval. But he's fit and ready to go here this afternoon. So the two sides lining up now for the National Anthems. And you'll find the crowds will be singing along too because they have a card with the teams, photos, as well as the words to the anthems, just in case they didn't know. So we're only minutes away. And a welcome too to our viewers right round New Zealand for this first ever test between Australia and the Lions at Ballymore.
no shortage of patriotic support for the home team after that response to the anthem, but also plenty of voices too for God Save the Queen. So it really is a delightful occasion here as far as rugby is concerned. The ground is perfect, there's hardly any breeze, it's only a zephyr, and we have a Frenchman in charge this afternoon. Alongside me, Chris Handy and Gary Pierce. Quick comments before the kickoff. Fabulous occasion, Gordon. What a sensational crowd. The scene set, the Lions must win. That's what we've got to keep in mind. It's a magnificent atmosphere. It ended last week with the crowd in Sydney sung the national anthem after the game, something I've never, ever seen before. And again, the crowd at Ballymore rose to the occasion to get right behind this Australian team. And there's a slight delay here as we're missing a corner post down at the far end of the ground. That's been rectified. So the arbiter is Monsieur René Ourquet, a 48-year-old headmaster from Avignon in the south of France and regarded as his country's number one referee. He controlled that stupendous match between the Barbarians and the Grand Slam Wallabies in 84. So the Mitre 10 international between Australia and the British Lions, the second test of the series underway, and Australia sending the ball into in goal, and the first touch for the halfback Robert Jones. Number 14 is Jayan Evans. Rob Andrew will be taking the drop out. So just as we saw in the first test, the ball from the opening kickoff deep and play resuming with the drop out. Cutler took it cleanly. Long cut out to Walker. Here comes the fullback Martin. Early attack from Australia. Maguire. What a start here by the Australians. Campisi. Well, you can see the two tactics there of both sides. Australia wanting to run the ball wide, take it down the flanks. The Lions trying to intimidate from the first moment of play. Great trust by Australia that time. They've been a little bit questionable from the uh, 22 metre kickouts and dropouts. But that time, we're able to plunge immediately into attack, and that's where they'll want to play the game out wide. Bill Campbell jumping at number two for Australia. Good jump by number four, though, Ackford. And Finley Calder round on the wrong side there but the referee has spotted something here and I think Steve Kleinman being spoken to the referee says we're going to have a penalty it's going to be a physical contest here at Ballymore this afternoon it's starting early this is only the tentative stuff. The line-outs were what they'd call a dockyard brawl in Sydney last week. Good work here by the Lions. They tidied up that ball through Richards, protecting it desperately, trying to prevent those Australian arms from getting in at the ball. So the referee spotting a goal jumper offside and a fine relieving kick, Gary Pearce from Gavin Hastings but there's a real feel about this test match. Certainly is. The Lions early on in the tour were very good at sweeping in the line out and we saw there they closed most of the gaps off except leaving one. And Australia got caught. Cutler does it well. Far Jones clears to liner. Rifling the ball across field. Is it too far? No! He did it last week landing at centimetres inside the touchline and he's done it again here this afternoon. Here Australia again playing down into the 22. Here the, the forwards will be looking for that extra 10, 20% effort. Put that, exert that pressure on the Lions. Good Gary, that time uh, Steve Cutler coming very much forward into that line out. That's the difference between this week and last week. Very explosive for the ball. I thought uh, good start. Miller and Calder at the back. Teague and Tideman second from the back. But Ackford going high again. So he's done well in the first two line outs. The big police inspector from the precinct of Clapham in London. Superb drive there by the Lions. First two lineouts of the match, they've really driven through the middle. They've, I think they're very committed this time. Great jump this by Ackford. Look at him, explosive. Look at the height that he gains there. A little bit of uh, support at the top of his jump by David Sull and Richards. He'll play a key role today doing that all the time. He's done it on the first two lineouts, and look how well he presents the ball. Well, there's a, a long pass from Far Jones, not well directed. Maguire straightens up and beats the first tackle. Australia still hasn't found the advantage line. There was a hand in the ruck there. 
that the referee says will have a knock on. Well, René Urquet has a reputation in France as one of those people who has a laissez-faire attitude in the lineouts. I'm sure the British Lions are aware of that fact. Interesting first scrum of the match here. Both front rows sizing each other up for this first impact. This is still going to set the stage. The first ten minutes, this scrum will tell a bit of a tale. Well, a punch up there between halfback Robert Jones and Nick Barr Jones. They're all joining in now. It's punches galore. It's an all-in brawl. The match erupting, and that was totally unnecessary. It was a harmless altercation between the halfbacks, and everyone joined in. Well, that's the stage that's been set here. The Lions can't go home with a big L against their name here. And you haven't seen that before, two halfbacks into a dockyard brawl right at the side of the scrum. Such is the tension. See some jostling here. As Jones puts the left hand under, right under the chin of Far Jones as they go down. Other Lions and Australian players looking for any excuse. The referee right down in the melee, down in the middle here. Look at him, he goes over, gets, there's no one watching. He's gathered up in the uh, melee. So the referee, René Urquet, has spoken to Mr Keith Lawrence. And it's a penalty to Australia. Well, you have to put Mr René Urquet on delay to interpret his decision but the end result has pleased the local crowd I thought he was going to give a, a free kick at one stage there to the Lions then a scrum and finally the arm went up for Australia I think a fairly clear decision Robert Jones uh, jostling with Far Jones at the entrance to the tunnel and that uh, sort of brought the retaliation from Far Jones that we saw finish up in an all-in now the referee is going to speak to both skippers here, Finley Calder, the 31-year-old grain merchant, and Nick Far Jones, the 27-year-old legal man, and Urke is telling both sides to settle things down. Let's concentrate on the football. But as we've said, it's do or die here for the Lions this afternoon. So Liner who really broke their back last week with his 14 points. Forty-six metres out. And it's swinging out to the left. It looked to be on target, but then the ball hooked away. So an early opportunity goes begging for the Australians. Rob Andrew, the Cambridge Blue in cricket and rugby, with a nice drop out. And the Lions forwards getting some good possession in the early stages, just holding things. Great there, great work there by Scott Goulet. Waiting attached at the back, ready to pounce. The ball was freed from that maul. Straight on, that's the pressure required. Scrum very low on this side. David Young and Mark Hardhill. Coming! Good scrum for Australia, disrupting. Jones is in trouble. It was a great scrum. You saw Mark Hartill down, driving very low. David uh, Young on this side takes his opposition low, but Hartill with lots of trust behind him, really putting that pressure on. And there, Young dropping his shoulder. The scrum collapsed, and the referee coming round to check proceedings. He's supposed to bind on this side, David Young, with his right arm up on the jersey. Referee telling the Lions to go back. Coming close to the 90 degrees, the referee says it's gone past 90 and will reset it. So a very good wrestle, Chris, in the early stages Great of the scrimmage. pressure there by Australia, Gordon. This is the sort of pressure that takes ages to build up. And Australia are really working this front row of, uh, of the Lions over. Really making them concentrate. Andrew now. 
taking play outside the 22 but not gaining the ground he would have liked Australia continues to put the pressure on here superb three scrums there where Australian front row had really put it over the top of that Lions pack Goulet's moved to the back opposed to Dean Richards and this time it's Wade Dooley and Jones Met Solidine. Again, the Lions control. That's Mike Teague. Back to Richards. Miller number seven. Young sends it back to Jones, and now it's Andrew. That's a better strike by Andrew. Good work under pressure by the Lions that time. They were able to just settle, work the ball at their pace and clear to Andrew for the kick that they've been looking for from him uh, most of the game. Neutral touch judges this afternoon. This is Keith Lawrence, who was in charge of the first test from the Bay of Plenty, and Mark Thompson from Auckland. Richards does well against Gule A.T. They're over the advantage line. That's the play they missed last week. Jones burrows in. Andrew now kicking for Hastings. Behind the Australian backs, Williams with his return to test football. Making sure of his touch. Andrews kicks superbly down into the 22 there, but all really set up by tremendous drive by the Lions back row with a pack coming in behind over the top. That's when they looked dangerous. That's where they looked an unbeatable team before the first test. Getting over that advantage line. It's been an excellent start here by the Lions pack. Although they've had a bit of bother in the scrums, they're winning some clean possession. There, Ackford again at the front. Booker Moore stopped in his tracks. <laughs> the ball spewing back. Andrew on the half volley, drop goal. Nice strike, just wide. Chalmers missed an early one last week. Well, now the, the uh, boot on the other foot. The Lions deep in the Wallabies territory, using that plunge at the uh, front of the line-out that's become their trademark. Low trajectory from Liner. Andrew having plenty to do in the early stages. Halfway line. Martin calls. The big man from the University of Queensland. Not paid the mark. Far Jones. End over end. And the bounce obliging to. Five from halfway. No score. And Far Jones looking a bit like the boxer who's been through five total rounds. Blood streaming from his mouth. A legacy, no doubt, of that altercation with Robert Jones. First blood to the Welshman. So the Lions have been barging across the line. Uh, He's given a free kick by the look of it, Chris, so... Yes, well, it couldn't be. It must be in the uh, formation, the difference between the bent arm and the straight arm penalties. One is in the formation of the line-out, the other's in what results after the ball comes into the line-out. Liner really sending the ball deep, and now Hastings with a chance to return. And the Lions forward's pretty happy with that one. It's kept in play, and this is Martin. And Martin replies with a boomer back up towards halfway. And the Australian coach Bob Dwyer in buoyant mood last week, but absorbed with the action so far. And also a man who's done so much to assist the Australian team in the background, Chris John Connolly, the Queensland coach. Yes, he has, and uh, a bit of deja vu there against the Lions for Queensland. Liner not hitting the, uh, the touches as he should. Hopefully this isn't setting a pattern. Cordler goes down on the loose ball. Jones is crunched by Goulet. Well, Scott Goulet making his mark on the game early, as he did for New South Wales and in the first test. Punishing tackler. Jones runs. Andrew. Campisi and Martin. And a cheerio to the Australian Rugby League team, which is watching this telecast in that beautiful southern city of Christchurch. And we saw uh, one of their colleagues, Gene Miles, 
at the game here today, Chris? They sure were, and of course, Paul Vorton and Dominic Maguire, two redheads, both from Padua College here in Brisbane, both internationals. What a great feat. Well done by Ackford. This is Teague, away from Campbell's tackle. Referee says play on, the ball was out. No offside, he says. I think by the end of this match, Robert Jones is going to be a bit tired of Scott Goulet's tackles coming through on him because it's the matter of one minute, he's hit him twice and driven him back metres. Roger Utley in Ponsive mood, but there certainly is encouragement for the Lions coaching men. Ian McGeegan on his left-hand side. And a studied Gareth Chilcott in the background. They love playing with their backs to the wall, the Lions, and they certainly are that today. Big grunt as the two packs come together. Yeah, and Evans comes through. Martin calls. Up he goes. He couldn't take it. Cutler's there. And Steve Cutler's offside. Coming off Martin's hand. Cutler in front of his teammate. And now a chance for the Lions to post first points. Well, a very good kick there. It was a good platform by the, by the Lions. And it was very good the way that the back row came around, protected. As we can see here, the ball's been put up. Australian players come around to protect Martin. But the ball goes forward and Steve Cutler goes down on the ball, thus offside. I think it came down from Martin off Richard's shoulder there, Gary. But uh, Steve Cutler and uh, Bill Campbell emerging from the ruck simply uh, played the ball and paid the penalty. Gavin Hastings, 27 metres out, and that's not a good attempt from him. It was a very nervous stab at the ball, no fluency about that stroke. Terrible kick. He looked uncomfortable last week at the uh, Sydney Football Stadium. The uh, moving a bit free at today, but that kick certainly wobbly. The Lions are controlling most of this set play here, and also the tight stuff. Get their tight fives just getting over the top of Australia. Knocked back by Tyneman. Hart Hill still in play. They've done well, Australia. Far Jones darting. It's a pretty reasonable kick. Oh! Amazing. That is class. You can see there the, the back row of the lines came around on top of Far Jones. And he just ducked in behind them and banged that ball. I'm not even sure if he even saw the line. He just felt that that was there and he landed a metre with a touch. Mark Harthill at the front of the line out for Australia, sporting a bloodied nose. Brian Moore throws in. Par Jones to line up. Gary Owen coming down near the crossbar, it's a beauty. Hastings lost ahead, chance here for Australia but no one wanted to pick it up. Now Liner, here's a chance, numbers. Martin, the line in front, he has to score. Well, Greg Martin's done it again. Two tries in his first two test matches. And Australia posts first points. Well, the whole theory here is keep it simple. The ball comes wide to Liner, who really puts snow on this ball. As it goes up, he's got his entire back line coming through on the ball. The Lions not really know who wants it. Great pressure by Australia. The ball goes loose. For a while, then three or four Australian players didn't know who to pick it up. But Far Jones intelligently moves the ball very wide to Liner again. And Martin looming down the left flank. And he just puts his ears back and over for a tremendous try. What a superb pass this. Firstly, the kick from Liner went on the absolute spot. Then this double cutout out here. Martins plunging for the line and over. And I'm not sure who it was who slipped that ball back to Far Jones. I have a sneaking suspicion it was Dan Crowley, another man who made his debut last week. But Far Jones and Liner really sizing up the situation so well. And the Lions caught short. This one is sitting just centimetres in from the touchline. 
Beautiful kick. Never in doubt. Spectacular. And that is 400 points for Michael Leiner in Test Match Football. The first man to pass 400 points in official Test Matches. The whole key to this was the kick put in by Liner that put the pressure on the Lions and drew them all into the middle. Martin saw the gap out wide and was just the man to take advantage of it. A telling blow landed by the Australians. Came after about 18 minutes. Australia see it. Touch judge has spotted something on the far side. It's Mark Thompson over there. Had the flag out immediately on that far side. There was some stomping. Uh, yes, I think uh, the big police inspector, Paul Ackford, is being called out, uh, as you say, Chris, for stomping. Ackford, uh, who has some 20 constables and three sergeants under his care in Clapham. That's Wade Dooley, his teammate. And there's Paul Ackford. Use of the boot, says the touch judge. And Australia to relief. It's quite unfortunate the Lions have to really stoop to this. Because prior to the first test, they were a superb team in the way they controlled the play. Hastings. Outside, he's 22. Pushing it down the centre. Martin. Campisi. And Far Jones. Here goes Campo. Looking for open space. Hastings gets the bounce. Campo through hard. 35 metres out from the Lions goal line. And what a proud moment for this man, Chris Handy, Lee Danellan. 13 seasons with ACT and called onto the Australian reserves bench here today. I played against Lee and he's a great drop, should have made it long before now. Pushing in the line out against the Lions. Second man in the red line out, the referee saying. So a free kick here. Free kick, not a penalty goal. And Liner could well have a shot at drop goal. Here he goes. Pushing it out to the right. No worries with the distance. Lions back row, very keen to get up on Liner there. Again, the pressure's still on the Lions. They're stuck in their 22. Australia continuing to build and build and mount that pressure against them. Waiting for that crack to occur around the ruckle ball or a penalty given away. Dooley and Ackford doing well. Goulet with the big hit. Forcing the error. Jones away to Underwood. Nowhere to go. This is Teague. Oh, that's a great thrust there from Michael Teague. That's the sort of inspiration they need now, the British Lions. Love those back rowers having an impact in the game. Goulet, Richards, Teague. Teague played sensationally here against Queensland. Look at the big uh, Wade Dooley getting in for that ball up high. There Goulet makes the challenge to Moore. He was up to the task and then the Lions continued on. So the free kick goes the other way. And there's another minor scuffle. Jones comes in again. David Sol was on the ground but that was harmless. Dan Crowley on the far side, number three. Hyman has blood pouring from his eyebrow. I think there's more policemen on the field than there is in the crowd. Three policemen in the Lions pack. Richards, Ackford and Dooley. So Andrews, who just has that edge and experience over the younger Chalmers, with a very good kick taking play just outside the 22. The Lions yet really to use their centre combination, relying more on the driving of their back row with this inclusion of Teague in the team has really been able to give us some good opportunities around the ruck and ball. Ackford again, Richards drives straight through the middle of the line out, still going, perfect set up here. Andrew, Hastings, Miller the tackler, it was a beauty. They've actually been sent backwards there, the Lions. But that man Richards is there again. Jones now to Andrew. Gus got. Yayan Evans and Campisi. Campisi with the front running. And 
the referee playing advantage. I think he spotted some offside here. Penalty for the Lions and a chance to reduce the leeway. Well, it was good advantage refereeing by Mr. Urkay. There was offside at the back of that uh, that mall players up in front of the last feet. He let the play roll. He gave the Lions the opportunity and then brought it back for the advantage of the penalty kick. What's interesting is there the Lions had good ball. They had plenty of room to run with it. But again, they were, they were all over the place in midfield. And the only option they did at the end was the soft option of the kick over the top. Well, we saw Scott Hastings bungle Gary that first good ball. And then Guscott seemed as though he, uh, he had no option or no idea what to do with it out wide other than to uh, push it ahead into space. So now it's the 27-year-old chartered surveyor, captain of London Scottish, Gavin Hastings. 18 caps for Scotland, 231 test points. Looking for this three-pointer, 25 minutes into the first half. That's more like it, Hastings. The Lions are on the scoreboard. They badly needed that one. Three points the difference. So that will certainly settle a few British Lions nerves. Hack has applied a lot of pressure. Liner curling that one. Andrew on his chest. Does it well. Kick slightly off the side, 25 metres out. I can't understate the effect that Dean Richards has had on the Lions pack today. He's been in everything, particularly the sweeping from the line out. Liner to Walker. Here comes Williams and so too Martin. Good aggressive defence though from Scott Hastings. Australia looking for the more ball here. They hold their ground. The Lions trying to roll it. Richards has been penalised there for not allowing the ball to come out. The referee pointing at him, but he's also pointing at David Young. David Young, the first infringement, Mr. Richards, the second. Superb jump there in the middle. The ball goes wide. Australia looking to extend them out wide. Lloyd Walker cuts the ball across. Very good quick hands. Martin comes around, but always looking for support there. Big Far Jones in there, pushing the ball back. So Liner now with the chance to nullify that last successful kick by Gavin Hastings. 402 test points under his belt. Only 25 years of age. His kicking skills surfaced at Musgrave Hill when he was playing soccer in the under nines. Lions supporters behind the posts trying to distract the Australian kicking ace. 28 minutes gone. No bother for Liner. Australia back out to six. So Australia just with that comfort zone, six point advantage and just staying out of reach of the Lions at the moment. Repeating, there's no breeze here whatsoever now. Oh! Campbell pulls. Australia having trouble at those kickoffs. And this is a tremendous surge from the Lions pack. Wade Dooley! Way it goes to Jones, there's something on here, if they can get it out. Jones slips it, called it to Jones. Andrew, Andrew straightens. He's still holding on. Now it's called again to Teague. Teague, the danger man here at the back. There he is, number six. Rolling it with Sol. It's only 15 metres out. Good line here, on the left. Hastings, Guscott, he's very quick. Williams there first. referee ruling there that 
it's going to be a 22. The ball was kicked over. Bill Campbell down on the ground having treatment. It was good work here by the Lions. This was on. The Australian defence was flat. Crowley was inside. Williams was committed to come up wide and uh, really had to struggle to force the ball. It's unfortunate there. Bill Campbell actually was hurt in the play prior to that. And the ruck then came back over the top of him, which really didn't help him. It was Bill pretty Campbell. tough. He wouldn't be laying down there for too long. He wasn't hurt there. Yes, a sense of deja vu here because Campbell played with damaged ribs in the Queensland game. And line of bleeding from the uh, from the eye. So a few scars uh, on show. There, Far Jones, showing that there's been a uh, a battle on out there. Well, the doctor's being called here, I think. But uh, there could be a stitch or two required for Bill Campbell, who specialises in laser surgery. And uh, he looks to be in no man's land at the moment, Chris. Yeah, I think that's the biggest worry. I think uh, it's ahead. He was shaking his head there a little while ago. He's getting a, uh, a big questioning from uh, Rick Craig, the physiotherapist. Well, he's out of the game at the moment, and Wade Dooley is right in the thick of things. Jones to Andrews. This is big. Gavin Hastings, the fullback. Miller intercepts. Australia drive in. Good ruck ball for Calder. Andrew. Andrew Grubbers. Williams in front. He goes in, Williams. The fastest man on the field. And a sensible option. Midway, 22 and halfway. Superb wing play there by, by Ian Williams. He could see the, the, the Lions running at him. A little chip kick that came through. He got back fast and cleaned up for Australia. But isn't it a shame that uh, the only option that they have is pushing the ball forward on the boot? I'd like to see that ball go wide. The cutout passes uh, used and then the support back inside. I'd have thought it would have been the option. The Lions pack are much more hungry this afternoon. Ackford's done very well on the line-out. Tyneman, a loose ball. This is Lloyd Walker. Now it's Campisi. And he's unleashed a boomer. Prodigious kick from Campisi. Almost down to the 22. Well, that'll bring some adrenaline to the, to the Australian forwards. They've been fighting down in this half for the last five or six minutes. And now Campo, with a long pass out wide, has been able to get them onto the advantage again. 14. Well, a breeze has started to pick up now, favouring the Lions at the moment, but it's going to be in Australia's favour for the second half. Get on, get on. Get on, get on. Well, again, Paul Ackford doing well at the front. Andrew Hastings at Scott. Over Campisi's head. Campisi and Martin. Charged down, Ian Williams, back to save the day. Williams in trouble. And a five metre scrum. No, Australia plays on. Campisi has looked for the far touch line and taken it back to the 22. What's happening here, the whistle is gone. I think the referee's coming back to play a, uh, a knock forward short of the line by Ian Williams. There was a struggle for the ball. He was well positioned, the referee. Now the pressure right on the goal jerseys. Well, as we come into the last 10 minutes of the first half, these are the championship minutes of the, of the game. It's really where one team starts to get on top of the other. Hey, hey. Lions poised here to get those the first try. So a great chance here for the British Lions. They scored only one try here against Queensland. That was from the halfback Jones. No tries in the first test. Good scrum ball. Andrew, drop. He struck it well. Great little pot there by Rob Andrew. He kicked two field goals in his international debut against Romania at Twickenham in 85. And he's posted three here for the Lions. Three very vital ones. This Lions pack is uncompromising. They really want a great scrum there to give tremendous platform for Rob Andrews to pop that ball over. As this game goes on, the Lions pack is really starting to take control. And it's quite important the Australian team gets back to basics and tries to drive through the middle, put them on the ground. Australia being obliterated. Oh, there's a bad mistake between the Welshmen, Jones and Evans. And the referee says it came off his chest. Well, that's an amazing decision. 
That'd be the first time you'd see that in international or any rugby. The movement forward, if it touched arms at any stage, be they above the elbows or whatever, you simply said it was a rebound. Not so. Cutler to Far Jones. Richards picks up the crumbs. And Andrew, Harris by Goulet and Evans now. Evans, who's played a bit of fullback, indeed he was a replacement fullback, I think, up in Cairns, has found touch. Pretty cool decision that from the referee. A, a, a scrum in that territory would have been uh, try time for Australia. Australia here playing a shorter line out, giving Cutler and Campbell the time to move, or the room to move. Well, some rucking of the man there by the Lions. Tommy Lawton didn't like it. It was definitely the kicking. It wasn't rucking. Keith Lawrence, the referee on this side, has his flag out and he saw it. This is straight out kicking by the Lions pack. Nothing different. Now there's a difference between a rucking backward motion, but they were kicked. And this is, this is shocking stuff. When you go to ground on a rugby field, it is a rucking motion that fine. And Tommy Lawton reacted violently to that straightforward kicking by the Lions. The culprit has been found, and David Young has been called out. Just watch the feet on the ground on this side. You'll see it rather clearly, and the culprit, I think, is David Young on this side. Watch the boots coming in. There it'll be, number three, bang, straight in at the head. Tommy Lawton reacting to it, coming in up into the ribs of David Young. The game doesn't really need this. It's the two tremendous, uh, well, the Lions representing a number of countries and Australia out there to show the skills of the game. Cheap shots like that doesn't help anybody. Well, I've never seen so many bloodied mouths and eyebrows in an Australian team. It's been a, an ill-tempered first half, oh, a sure, fiery first half. It's sure a battle, Gordon, that's uh, no doubt about that. And the hard-fought bumps and knocks that you get in the general play is one thing. But a straightforward kick, that's something, something else. I believe David Young is, uh, is fortunately still on the field. The referee had been on this side and seen that. I doubt if he'd still be, uh, be running around. He's certainly on a caution. One more indiscretion and he'll have his marching orders. So Lina just missing with that long range penalty goal. But he must have kicked scores and scores of penalties from this position on his home turf. Through, no, just what's happening here, the touch had to say no. It's missed on the left. The Lions still breathe. Nine points to six, Australia's way. Four minutes before half-time. Campbell didn't take it. Now he's put the pressure on his teammates. Jones, loose pass. Andrew loops. Gayan Evans and Campisi. Greg Martin on the full, half volley. He did well. Delivers it back for Far Jones and Campisi. Well, I wonder why he kicked. Dean Richards and Campbell. Good tackle by Campbell. Now it's Ackford and Calder. A wave of gold jerseys arriving. And finally Jones outside his 22. Martin, Scott Hastings through. Good tackle. Referee says use of the knee. Use of the knee, Scott Hastings in the tackle. It was a very good hit. So good, in fact, that the Australian fullback is almost out cold. Greg Martin goes up for the ball. I don't think there's a vicious uh, up with the knee. He simply drove in up on that left-hand side. No intent. The referee uh, very acute to any of the uh, physical play going on at the moment. A long kick. A raking kick. Eight metres out, and Australia, two minutes before half-time, a chance to score further points. Plenty of support coming from the crowd. Campbell at two. 
Australia needing here to find every little hole in this line out to get through on the deflected ball. Imperative that the pressure picks up for this last two minutes. Oh. Richards. And Jones. Played a wonderful game in the sweeping roll, Richards. Taking the ball up, tidying it up. It's been the difference between the two packs just at the moment. Australia playing a shorter line out, giving the room for the tall men to get hold of it. Far Jones straightens. He wants the support. Crowley's there, so is Goulet. Here it comes. Liner. Kicking for Williams. Williams and Underwood. And Rory got there first. Quick thinking there by Liner. Two great wingers on this far side, both in a desperate race for the ball. Came free for Australia, they were disorganised. Liner fumbled and then shot the ball right into the attack. It's very close now to the goal line. Australia driving forward. And they'll get the scrum feed. Certainly the last scrum of the match. This is where Nick Farr Jones and Campbell will be calling on their players to really put their best scrum of the game in. The Lions here will be trying to wheel the Australian scrum towards that sideline, the touchline you can see on the other side. Thus throwing the ball across the far side and throwing their back row support off. Nick Farr Jones just telling the referee to stop his clock. Only uh, seconds remaining before half time. Poor Nick having to use charades there to, to get the communication across. I'm not sure if his French is that good. <laughs> David Sol, who actually came on as a breakaway against ACT on Tuesday. Number 11 there is Rory Underwood. But David Sol, who had a couple of seasons in the West Country with Bath, really putting the polish on his enormous talent. Liner, loopy pass, they've gone for the high ball, this is dangerous, Gascott has it, the Lions should hold on here until the half-time break. Only one try to Australia in the first half to Greg Martin, and Robert Jones with the kick, taking play well outside the 22. Well, the Australian forwards have been outplayed in this first half, Rucks and Bulls 12-3 to the Lions. Lineouts 9-8 to the Lions. Good work by Dooley and Teague up the short side. Bear hug tackle from Big Steve Cutler. Australia not tidying up the ball that they're winning in the lineouts. Richards and also uh, Ackford are really going desperately. As soon as that ball comes down, they're just thrusting their bodies over it on the ground and winning it for their team. Liner, he got a loose pass and he stepped around Andrew. He's gone straight through. Pass was loose to Williams. Underwood toes ahead. It's only Steve Tyman there and he saved the day. Oh, great play there by the big number eight. Now it's Williams. Australia drive in. Hastings is there. And this is Mike Teague. Great surge from him. Jones couldn't pick up. Good ball here for the Lions. No one out here in the backs. This is Gus got. And his only option is to kick. And he's done it too hard. Well, we must be nearly at half time. The referee blows it up. And at the break, Australia 9 leading the British Lions 6 in a torrid contest here at Ballymore. Greg Martin, the try after 18 minutes, converted by Michael Liner, who also kicked a penalty goal. And for the Lions, Gavin Hastings in the 25th minute, a penalty, and a field goal in the 33rd by Rob Andrew. Statistics in the first half, Ruxon Malls 13 to 4 in favour of the British Lions. Lineouts, nine apiece, and the penalties also favouring Australia this time by seven to four. So there's the Australian camp. And just comparing the two forward packs, Chris, to last week in this, the Lions really have a sense of urgency. They're very hungry for the ball this afternoon.